the content covered by introduction of plastering objective of plastering properties its method types of plastering and tools and defects and prevention on plastering introduction plastering plaster is a building material used for a coating protecting and decorating internal walls and ceilings it can also be used to create architectural modeling such as a ceiling roses corners corbels and so on the most common types of plaster are a composition of gypsum lime or cement with water and sand plaster plaster is a building material used for the pro- protective or decorative coating of walls and ceilings and for molding and casting decorative elements objective of plastering first plastering consults defective workmanship as covers up unsound and cheap quality material second plastering on a external wall is done with the object in proving the resistance of the surface to rain water protection and other atmospheric influence third plastering protects surface against vermin properties of good plastering it should be other to the black background and should remain other during all climatic changes second it should be cheap and economical third it should be hard and durable fourth it should be possible to apply it during all weather condition fifth it should effectively check the entry or pretension of moisture from the surface methods of plastering methods of plastering plaster is applied the manner mentioned below to get uniform 150 into 150 mm and 10 mm thick dots are prepared on the surface at a lower level those dots are transferred on the upper level with plumb block so the dots of the upper level and lower come in the on and vertical surface in this any dots are applied on a all the surface of the wall at 1500 to 2000 mm four dots are covered masonry with the help of screed and plaster is applied properly lime plaster is applied in this coats or three coats or in two coats the background is prepared before applying plaster types of plastering there are different types of plaster are available such as lime plaster cement plaster mud plaster stucco plaster cement plastering these are the homogeneous lean mixture of portland cement and sand with water they have been found suitably for all type plastering work such as protective and decorative finishes the most common property proportion of cement plastering is 3 ratio for external surface 1 ratio 3 for internal surface 1 ratio 4 mud plastering a plaster that is usually a mixture of heavy clay and water often containing chalk straw or manner to improve its mechanical strength when dry lime plastering lime plaster is a type of plaster made of sand water and lime usually non hydraulic hybrided lime also known as a ask lime skin lime high selenium lime or air lime ancient lime plaster of contain horse hair and reformant and ozolonic additive to reduce work time stucco plastering a fine plaster uses decorative and ornamentation as of interior walls a material usually made of portland cement sand and a small percentage of lime and apply in plastic state to form a hard covering for exterior walls stucco plaster it can be used internal as well as external wall surface stucco plaster is decorative type of plastering tools of plastering types of plaster types of finishing pebble dash plastering finish scrap plaster finish texture plaster finish stucco plaster finish exposed aggregate plaster finish waterproof plaster finish smooth coat finish sand face finish rough cast finish or 
better test finish, deeper finish. Defects of plastering. Blistering of plaster surface. Second, plaster debonding. Third, cracks on plaster surface. Efflorence on plaster surface. Falling out of plaster. Popping of plaster. Loses of plaster. Prevention on and control on plastering. The uses the use of well graded sand and can prevent the development of crashing cracks. Remove all surface of loose material can clean it from dust and oil to avoid plaster debonding. The use of cement slur, slurry or spat dash coat before plastering can improve bonding and reduce debonding or delamination. Avoid the use of pure cement for the finishing coat. Avoid using the mortar mix which rich with cement use a mix ratio of one part of cement to four parts of sand depending on the types of sand. Conclusion Some main properties of plaster that was highlighted on consumer are the durability, workability, thickness and setting time. Also the tools and materials used in plastering process was listed. In addition, the method to plastering was explained. Finally, the problem for common plastering process and their suggest solution.